Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Sub Zero Infinity back again. I'm here to bring you another juice review from NickVape.com, and it is from their camouflage line. Now, it is called Bouncing Betty. You can see it. Now, what Bouncing Betty is? The flavor profile is exotic and fresh picked berries. We're going to test this out, and I'm going to give you my thoughts. Now, before I get started, I know I usually do it afterwards, but I'm going to do it here. Um, for Nick Vape's site, okay, for their store, if you go and you purchase a bottle of their camouflage line now, only for their camouflage line, they will donate $2 per bottle to the Soldiers Project. And what that is, is it helps with um, uh, soldiers that are returning from their du uh, from their active duty they're returning and the ones that have like PTSD and alike mental distress that is exactly what it helps with and um, I think it's a very worthwhile cause go check it out link will be in the description below for nickvape.com and you can see all the information yourself let's test this let's do a smell test first. Ooh, man, that's really fruity. Oh, yeah. That has a really good, like, blackberry, blueberry. Um, there's a little bit of strawberry there. Not sure what all else. We're going to test it out, and we're going to vape it on my Goon clone on my HBRIV. And we're running it at 88 watts. Yeah, 88 watts. So let's drip it up. Get the wick all wet and see what she does. Now this is their Max VG line. So it's a, I think it should be about 100% VG. There we go. That looks good. That's a pretty good amount of vapor. A little mild ramp up. I don't have this thing set on max. I just have it set on hard. If it was on max, it'd be freaking firing really good. So let's have a vape and see how she does. Mmm. Now this one is really sweet. This one is really, really, really sweet. I can taste the blackberries and the blueberries in it. A little bit of raspberry. Not too much strawberry. That's probably a good thing because you want a, like an exotic fruit type flavor. That really has a unique taste to it. It's, there's a whole bunch of berries just blended right in together. It's really good. It is one that is very sweet now. I will say that. It is very sweet. But it is clean tasting. There is no weird foul taste to it at all. That would be a good palate cleanser. For me, I mean, I like sweet vapes, but for me, this wouldn't be an all-day vape. This would be kind of a, okay, I want a taste for, I, I have a taste for berries. Let me test this out. Let me have a little bit of it and then go back to my normal everyday vape. Yeah, this is a really good vape. I mean, it's, it's, it's really sweet. I mean, not sickening sweet. Let me put it that way. It's not sickening sweet. I have to say, I taste the raspberries. I think there's a little bit of cranberry in there. I can't. I could. I could be mistaken. There's blackberry, blueberry, raspberry, strawberry, and I think there's a little bit of cranberry in there. That is a very interesting blend. Now they have it on their website right now for $15.99, and you know, it's 30 ml bottles. 
But because they donate to the Soldiers Project, I really think it's it's very worthwhile. And it is a very good tasting e-juice. They have several different lines. Go check them out. They also have a very, very good uh, DIY section. They have almost anything you could think of for DIY. They've got from graduated cylinders to beakers to stirrers to um, your uh, PGVG. And they've also got uh, pre-mixed um, PGVG with whatever nicotine level you want. Then you just add your flavor and your shake and go. It's basically shake and vape. It's, I mean, they've got a good selection. Go check it out, definitely. If you're into DIY, this would be a good site to do it. They All the different flavors that they have, I've tasted a few of them, and I will, I'm here to tell you they are very good, clean, good-tasting flavors. So, um, and they're reasonably priced, too. I mean, they really are. Above all, this stuff, if you're into berry-type vapes, definitely check it out. And as with all of my videos, if you have any, any suggestions on future vids, any suggestions, put them in the comment box down below. And if you have an idea and you want to have a little bit of a shout out, feel free. Let me know in the comment that you put down below. If you don't, that's cool with me. Not a problem. And if you like this vid, please hit the like button and please subscribe. I'm going to be bringing you a lot more e-juice in the future. And I've got a couple other things coming. You never know what's going to pop up on this channel. So this is Sub-Zero Infinity. Please stay safe and vape safe. And vape on, people.